It's Joe here from Joe's Country Junction, and I'm here today, and I want to talk to you a little bit about a question that I got from a blog reader. Her question was about how do I cut so many squares at a time, and so I thought I would give you a little um, video chat and answer that question. The blog reader had watched me make my Halloween quilt. This is one of the blocks from the quilt, and she was just amazed at how quickly I could cut that many squares in that short amount of time in order to make a quilt. And so she asked if I would talk to you about that. And so today I'm doing a video segment of Ask Joe. So how do I cut all those squares? I'm gonna tell you right now. First off, the thing I wanna tell you is, is that this center segment, it was not pieced square by square by square. It was pieced via strip piecing. And I'm going to show you a couple more examples of strip piecing that um, Kelly and I have done. This is our square dance quilt. And I'm going to open it up a little bit. Not too much because you won't be able to see it because of the camera anyway. Um, you can see all of these. They're all squares. This is all squares over here. None of that was pieced square by square by square. It was all strip pieced. Um, this is another quilt that we made. Um, this is our plus fun quilt. Well, first off, I want to tell you the square dance quilt, I believe was in, I don't know if it was in this magazine or not, but it was published in a magazine. If you want to know where that is, um, check the link below and I will make sure I have a blog post that shows you where that link is. Um, and so this is another quilt that we did that was published in a national magazine. This one, um, I believe was in McCall's quilting. This quilt, um, you can see all these little pluses. That was strip pieced as well. If you look closely, you can see that there are lots of small individual squares here. They were not pieced square by square by square. That was also pieced via strip piecing. So I wanna to talk to you a little bit about strip piecing first. And then I'll talk to you a little bit about how um, I cut so many squares at once too, because it's kind of a, a joint venture to talk about. So are you familiar with strip piecing? Um, one of the things that happen when you strip piece is you sew strips together like this. And then after the strips are already sewn together, then I just place it on my mat like this I line it up, I trim the excess off, and I cut, oops, I didn't sharpen that rotary cutter blade yet or put a new blade in yet. I'll have to do that. And I just cut the strip and it already looks like I sewed four squares together, when in reality, what I sewed together was four strips. And it's much easier to sew the strips together first and then cut into squares than it is to just cut square by square by square by square. So that's my first piece of advice is whenever you can, strip piece. Back to this block right here, all of the center, here, I'm gonna do this. All of the center here was all strip pieced. What I did was I had um, strips made and the strip was, I made strips. Uh, here, I see if I can hang that over my arm. And the strip was light, dark, light, dark, light. That was one kind of strip I made. Then I made another strip set that was dark, light, dark, light, dark. And I took those sets and I cut them like this. So when it came time to sew, I didn't sew square by square by square by square. I sewed strip by strip by strip, and then I cut those strips. So it's a lot faster if you're sewing and you use a strip piecing method. I have a quilt that's coming up. Um, this quilt will be featured in um, American Patchwork and Quilting. This is one of the blocks. This is gonna be a big uh, Christmas block with a really, um, it's really fun. I, I can't wait to show it to you. So I need, for that, I need to piece these big triangle pieces. 
But did I do this square by square by square? No, I did that strip piecing like this. I have a whole stack of them here. I had sewed um, threes. I had sewed sets of threes. And then when it came time to sew them together to make this row, I would count and I would need uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. And so I would sew three of these already cut strip sets together to make that long piece that I needed for that. I hope that makes sense for you. So that in itself makes cutting much, much easier. If you sew in strips first and then cut them into the desired unit. And so now you're probably wondering, what is the desired unit? Well, for me, for this project, I was cutting two and a half inch strips. And for this project, I was also cutting two and a half inch strips. So when I bring my ruler out and I cut my strip set like this, I cut them at two and a half inches like that. And I have them together like that. This is really good for a lot of different projects and um, I highly recommend it whenever you can figure out how to strip, strip piece, I strip piece. And so you can see that I've got a whole bunch more ready to go into my Christmas quilt. So that was really quick and easy for me. Just a second, Rosie needs water. Okay, Rosie has her water, so um, she'll quit uh, banging her water bowl because that's what she does. If she doesn't have water, my beagle Rosie, she'll just sit and bang and bang and bang on her water bowl until I give her water. So back to how I cut my strips so, bad, so fast. One of the things that I do that helps me be able to do things really quickly is when I was getting ready to make this Christmas quilt, the thing that I did is I went immediately to my two and a half inch bucket. So this is a bucket of fabric that I have. Everything is already cut into two and a half inch strips. And you have to remember the question originally came because she was wondering how I was able to cut these so fast. So many people sent me a two and a half inch strip and it was already cut two and a half inches wide. So it was easy because all I had to do was go in here, grab the scraps that I needed and in the colorway that I needed and I had strips already ready to cut. So I didn't have to go pull out my fat quarters. I didn't have to go iron my fat quarters. I didn't have to fold the fat quarters after I had cut a two and a half, two and a half inch strip off them. I didn't have to put my fat quarters back away. I already had scraps ready to go right here in a bucket. So many people love the convenience and um, the ease of jelly rolls. And jelly rolls are the two and a half inch round bundles of fabric that a lot of the fabric companies have put out to make quilting easier for us. Well, I don't need to buy one of those because I already have my ready-made two and a half inch strips here ready to go. So what happens is every time I'm making a quilt and I do need yardage and I have just a little bit left, I already cut those pieces into a two and a half inch strip or a two inch strip or a one and, or a one and a half inch strip or even three and a half inch strips because I have buckets like this for all of those different sizes. So when it comes time for me to make a quilt and the quilt needs red pieces, all I do is come to my bucket and I start pulling out red pieces. I pull out the gold pieces I need. I pull out the green pieces I need. They're already here. So that saves a ton of time. So I highly suggest that you go to Bonnie Hunter's website and read about her scrap user system because this is how I learned to do this is I read all about it in her scrap user system um, blog post and I will put a link to that below too. So um, you'll just have to scroll down and it'll ask you to tell you more and if you click that button, that's where those links will go is right there. So let's say that I am going to be making this quilt and I need two and a half inch squares. Well, look at this. I already even have some already cut and are right in the, in the box. And um, I have more. This whole bag is just two and a half inch strips or two and a half inch squares that are already cut. Because as I'm sewing, I oftentimes already have these cut and in the box because if I was cutting a strip and let's say I needed, um, 
two and a half by four and a half inch pieces, I would take my strip and I would cut the two and a half by four and a half inch pieces. And then when I had some left at the end, if it was big enough for a two and a half inch square, I would cut that and then I'd put those into this bag. So it really makes um, making quilts easy for me when it comes time to cut them out because I already have this. So now I already have this. I already know about strip piecing methods. So those are two ways that it's really easy to cut squares fast. Um, so how do I actually cut a square? Well, I will grab some fabric out of here and I will show you what I do. It's nothing that, that anybody else doesn't already do. Um, here you can see I have a nice stack of blue ones here ready to go. Um, oftentimes I don't have enough in the bucket to cut out a whole quilt and I have to cut some yardage or fat quarters, but I'm only cutting a little bit. I'm not cutting um, all of it out of fat quarters. So I don't have that labor of unfolding them, ironing them, cutting a strip off, folding them again, putting them back away. Because for me, it's as easy as putting a lid on a tote and then putting the tote away. So when it comes to actual cutting, um, I layer up my, I'm gonna move this here. I layer up and I cut using a rotary cutter. And right there, there's two layers of this one. There's one layer of this. Um, here I have a different print. There's two layers of this. Um, I have another print, there's two layers of this. So when it comes time, I just put my trusty ruler. I love the um, Quilter Select rulers. They have a little um, oh texture on the back that makes them not slip. And I line it up. I trim off the edge and slide it over to the size I need. And I just cut like this. And right here, just like this, I have eight squares cut already. Um, there's 16, there's another grouping, and another grouping. So if I need to cut squares, and let's say I was doing a little table runner, this could easily that quickly be enough of the squares that I need for a little table runner. When you use the scrap user system and you have a healthy amount of pieces in the box, um, and you use a rotary cutter and you use the ruler and the mat and you cut, it's really quite quick. So the answer is to the question was quite quite honestly uh, a threefold answer. First off, do what you can like I did in this section and this section here and how I showed you here to strip quilt pieces together whenever you can. Sew those long strips together and then cut them into the segment size that you need. So that was suggestion number one. Suggestion number two was develop a scrap user system so that you don't have to um, dig through your fabric to find the pieces that you need. You can just open the box and find the strips already cut into the sizes that you need. And again, I got that idea from Bonnie Hunter. And the last suggestion is to stack up more than one piece of fabric when you cut it. And so here, I don't know, I said eight, but I don't know if that's exactly how many I had. I had two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I had seven in each stack. And so quickly, I was able to cut uh, seven times four, 28 squares, just that fast. So try it out and see what you think. And before long, you'll be making quilts that are like this. When it was time for me to make this, um, I knew I needed quite a bit of yellow segments, so I did one strip that was white, yellow, white. I did one strip that was yellow, yellow, yellow. And I would cut them into the strip sets and then sew the blocks together. It was really fast to sew. And in between here, there's a nine patch that's just all neutrals. And for that, I just cut strip sets of three. And I cut and cut and just quick like that, um, I was able to make the quilt in no time at all. So this is made from 
Um, I cut two, two inch squares, so the entire quilt is two inch squares. But honestly, it took me no time to cut it all because I had my scrap user system. I used the strip set method and I stacked up lots of pieces when I did my rotary cutting. Even when I cut strip sets, I often cut, I often layer like um, maybe six strip sets together. And you can see when I did these, um, these strip sets were staggered. And you can see one first and down like this when I cut them. So they were on the cutting board. They were laying out like this. And then I cut through, yep, it was six at a time here. And so it makes really easy and quick sewing. And that's how I can make a square quilt so quickly. I hope you give it a try. Remember, strip setting or cutting using the strips, using the strip set method, uh, using a scrap user system and layering up several layers when you cut and use your rotor cutter. That's all I have to tell you. And I hope that answers your question um, in a way that is usable for you. So catch me at Joe's Country Junction. I'll see you later. Bye.